Hello everyone. Welcome to Kumari's Kids channel. How are you guys doing? I hope everyone is good. Today I have a story called Bunny Likes to Learn. Easter is coming soon. So Bunny is going to read and learn a lot of things. Let's get started. Hmm, these are the toys. Isn't that lovely? Look at the monkey. Oh, they all look so cute. Okay, let's get started. Bunny loves to learn. I hope you guys love to learn too. One morning, Buster Bunny and his best friends, Sam the squirrel, Max the mouse, and Francine the frog arrived at the school. What's in those boxes, miss? asked Buster. Costumes, said Miss Nibbler. Today you are going to dress up as people who lived a long time ago. I want you to make something from the time when they lived and tell us all about it. I'm going to find out about Vikings, said Buster. I want to be a knight, which said Sam. They have amazing helmets. I think I'll be a princess, cried Francine. I can't decide what to find out about, said Max. Why don't you dress up as an Egyptian ruler, said Buster, taking a book from the shelf. They were called Parahos, but the Parahos crown was missing from the box. I don't want to be a king without a crown, said Max. Just then he noticed a poster on the classroom wall. I want to be an Egyptian mummy, he said. They are so cool. He rummaged in the costume box. Brother, he said, there's no mummy costume. I've got a knight's sword and a helmet, said Sam. I'm going to make a shield to go with them. I'm building a model of Viking ship, said Buster. And I'm making a palace for prince, princess, said Francine. Soon, Buster, Sam, Francine were busy making things. But Max still didn't know what to make. I really want to dress as a mummy, he grumbled. What else do you want about Egyptians? asked Buster. I know they build big pyramids, said Max. Why don't you build one of those, suggested Buster. Max found some big sheets of cardboard and tried to make a pyramid. Oh dear, he said. This is trickier than I thought. Francine showed him how to look up pyramids on the computer. Oh, now I see, said Max. A pyramid has four sides, not three. And each side is exactly the same size. Max finished his pyramid proudly, but then he sighed. I still don't know what to wear, he said. Ouch, said Buster suddenly. I just got a paper cut. It's only a small one, said Miss Nibber. But you'd better go to the school nurse for a bandage. That's give me, that gives me an idea, said Buster. He whispered in Max's ear. When it went great laugh, Max, please be long. When it was time to present to the class, the friends took turns showing what they had made. I am a knight, said Sam. My shield protected me in battle. It was brightly painted so that my friends could recognize me when my helmet was shut. 
I am a princess, said Francine. I lived in a palace. I wore long silky dresses and tall pointy hats. And I often got to boss around all the nights. Buster, back from the nurse, showed the class his Viking ship. I am a king, he said. I love to sail in a very fast ship called a long ship. It had dragon's head carved on the front to scare my enemies. Thanks, Buster, said Miss Nibbler. Now it's Max turns. Egyptians lived a very, very long time ago, said Max Wise. But he was no nowhere to be seen. They built amazing pyramids, the wise went on. The pyramids were taller than ten houses on top of each other. Nobody lived in them except for mummies. Uh, and Max leaped out of the pyramid. So that's where you are hiding, cried Francine. Where did you go get that wonderful mummy quest costume? asked Sam. I thought there wasn't one. I borrowed the bandages from the school nurse, said Max. It was Buster's idea. Clever thinking, Buster, said Mrs. Miss Nibbler. And well done to everybody. Your costumes took amazing and you all learn some really interesting things. What wonderful show and tell. Okay, this is the end of Bunny Loves to Learn Story. I hope you guys will enjoy and I will see you in the next storytelling and I will see you guys. Bye. And the bunny is here. Bye-bye.